Letter formation two. Everyone take one minute, read this question to yourself, okay? You ready? Now, every time I say take a minute, you are practicing pacing. So you're gonna pause me and just practice from here to here, reading it in one minute, and then turn me back on, okay? Pause now, go. Unpause. You read it? It's a pretty basic question, right? And we think about it, just look at the linguistic complexity. It's about, it's one sentence. And the answers are in phrase form. Now the answers are in phrase form, meaning it's not quite a complete sentence, right? It's like half a sentence. Okay, so this is an example of a, a very basic question. And it's, it's from that 90 test. I get it. The questions here are a lot more basic than the newer questions. But we still get practice. We get, we get, they're going to give us in this one sentence scenario, they're going to give us a scenario, right? And if we can memorize that scenario and recognize it, you might have a scenario on the day of the test, a question that's much longer, right? But the kernel of the scenario is going to be the same. It's still going to be the same scenario, just much wordier. So whether it's a, a, a long question or a short question, the faster you're able to recognize the scenario and match up the concept, the better you're going to do. Now, in this one right here, it says, I'm going to read it because it's so short. It says, having uh, kindergarten children practice tracing the letters of the alphabet in sand is most appropriate for children who are having difficulty. Let's think about that. First of all, we got kindergarten. Now, why is it print? Well, it's involving letters, the alphabet, right? And we have uh, tracing in sand. So we're not giving them tracing paper. This is a lot easier. Tracing something in sand, that would be much more manageable. Okay, so it's definitely, this is definitely a print activity, right? This is, this is a print. But this is also the tracing in sand piece. Now let's think about the sand, okay? Uh, we saw a picture of sand a little earlier. Let me go back to it right here. Tracing a letter in sand. Now, why would we have a child work on that? Practicing letters in sand. It's a little bit different than air writing. We could have just said, do, do uh, write it out in the air, right? This is a little different. This is, why is that? Well, that trace, you have a, it's, it's, it has uh, multiple senses, right? This has a kinesthetic element, that movement element, and a tactile element. Your finger is touching the sand in addition to a sight element. So you have those four things, those three things. Sight, you can see the letter. You can move your finger through the sand. Your finger feels the, the, the sand reinforcing uh reinforcing the movement that you're supposed to be making with your pencil. Okay, so this is a multi-sensory uh, letter formation activity, right? Let's go back to the question. Just to give you, I just want to give you a visual of how this is being described, okay? And why would they do that for a student who's having difficulty? Is this going to be an activity, this multi-sensory letter formation activity, is this to internalize the alphabetical principle? That's matching up uh, letters, right? With their predictable, most predictable sounds. The A grapheme letter matches up with the A ah sound in cat, right? No, no, that's not what we're doing. We're not doing uh, basic letter sound correspondence and the alphabetical principle. Is it having to do with uh, print carries meaning? Not really, right? Because they're just forming, you know, letters in sand. That, that doesn't carry a whole lot of meaning, right? So no, it's not that either. How about this one right here? Uh, understanding the relationship between spoken and written language. That means that, um, that uh, spoken language can be represented in writing. That's, that's print awareness. That, that is literally print awareness right there. Um, nope, that's not what we're doing either. How about what we just said? It's going to help with letter formation skills. You see, this activity right here, this would fall under a letter formation activity. I, I'm going to go back to that one right here. This is a letter formation activity. This is our friend. If we have something involving forming letters, tracing your finger in the sand, right away you should be thinking, hey, my friend in this scenario, let me go back to that question. My friend in this scenario, huh, right? <clears throat> 
it's not a rectangle rectangle person or triangle triangle face or or i don't know this this it's it's not this it's not this it's not this right no uh for uh tracing letters in the alphabet out into sand you should be like letter formation who agrees right away you should train yourself tracing letters is a letter formation thing tracing things in the sand letter formation thumbs up so to, team look at this this isn't a hard question it's not a lot when i say it's not long but it's got a lot of stuff in it we get to review all this great vocabulary right all these ideas that are here there all these ideas are here letter formation alphabetical principle print awareness phonics let me circle them so that you so you can see them okay Here's the alphabetical principle. This is print awareness. Uh, this is uh, this could be print awareness and spoken language in written language that could also reference sounds and letters, maybe phonics. And this is letter formation. So there's a lot of ideas going on here. So just because it's basic doesn't mean it's not worth your time. You can learn a lot from practicing a test like this. OK, you'll have a lot more success. And you'll be able to make those connections faster, where you'll be able to spot the scenarios and the concepts faster. So practice something like this so you can practice that connection. Scenario, concept, recognize your friend. Okay, got one more for you. Uh, it's going to be a little harder. All right, uh, let's take a look. 